Tell us a little bit about Open Interactive. Thank you very much. Uh, open Interactive is just as the name suggests, open and interactive, right? We, our company was formed in 2014, August, and the aim of our, our company, when Adam and I came together, was to try to elevate and, and get our, you know, our young people, the, the, the creative class, people who want to do better for themselves here on the island to provide uh, ideas that can challenge, that can uh, elevate, that can encourage people to embrace a new concept and to realize that they can be better than what currently exists. Happily for us, we were able to enter a public-private partnership with the government. And I must say that our prime minister, I, I want to thank him, I really want to single him out here for his visionary leadership <laughs> and for you know, his resolve to embrace what we have presented and to stand behind it as he avidly spoke this morning about the different things that uh, we're looking forward to do. There are many people out there who would think that, you know, we, what is it different we're going to see? You know, we have this new situation, we have a new government, what is it different we're going to see? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm here to tell you that Open Interactive is just that, different. I'm sure just by what you see here before us, it's something different and historic within the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. And we don't just want to stay there. We want to embrace all the young men from the, 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 the college who came forward and presented the ideas of robotics, etc. We embrace local talent. We exist to grow and encourage local talent. And on that note, I really want to emphasize where Pierre started you know, heading to, that everything you saw here today, everything you saw here was done 100% by local talent. I don't want to single them out. I want to single them out right now. Could our, our, our developers come forward, please? I want to single out the young men. Come, come, come forward. I want to single out before us the young men, you know, who have, you know, these are these are these are these are familiar young men, you know. So we have we have Rovin Doe, right? We have, and these are our senior developers. There are others which I'm going to call to the fore as well, but you know, Rovin says few things. They're shy, they're shy, I must admit. But these young men have been working tirelessly. They have taken up the mantle of learning this new Mendix cutting edge platform and turn it into what we have seen here before us today. And um, at least one of them has to say something. So I'll allow the senior lead developer to say a few things, a few words on behalf of the team. Well, you know, Stasio is known for putting people on the spot. Um, well, on behalf of the team uh, and myself, I just wanted to say that the experience in working on this project, it, it's a rewarding one. Uh, we've grown a lot in our craft and our skill as developers, and we really hope to continue to make this contribution or make this our contribution to uh, the, the, the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. And to really be a part of helping everyone, all citizens of St. Kitts and Nevis, in being able to interact more with the government. And uh, I really believe that this would be historic uh, as, as we roll out over the years. And I really do hope that it would be, uh, it, it would really receive the recognition and praise that it deserves. Thank you very much, and these are some of our young men. I, our team doesn't, don't end there. Names. names, the names, okay. So we have Rovin Doe, who is a young man, our senior developer, he's from St. Paul's, right? <laughs> In the middle, we have Asquil Folance, our lead developer from Sandy Point. And for those of you who don't know, he's actually my younger brother. 
<laughs> Up and coming. And um, on the far end, we have Corvon Wallace, who's joined us from Nevis to be a part of the Open Interactive team. So you're seeing all-encompassing uh, facet here. And these are young men, but there are others that I want to single out as well. Right? Thanks. I also want to single out the women, because none of this could have been possible without the women of Open Interactive. And so I want to call on Donella Diaz to come forward. And she has... There's Donella. And she has worked tirelessly along with Ophelia and Peer in the IT department daily to ensure that what you see before us with content has been a success. Donella Diaz. I also want to call on John L. Rollins. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on, John L. Join the team. John L. Rollins. And John L. has been working within our marketing agency and was very instrumental in staging what you see here before us today, John L. Rollins. And then I also want to call on Kimberly Irwin, who, who packed up her bags from New York and decided to join the Open Interactive team here in St. Kitts to deliver what you see being done before us today. And here's Kimberly Irwin, an international writer, right? But there's more. I also want to call on Lauren Pemberton, who moved back to Nevis, back to her roots, and decided to join us here to stay at this wonderful event. So these are the women of Open Interactive. Thank you very much. Yep, yep. And then I want to save the very best for last. Well, Akila is also, um, she's, she has, I'm not sure she's here with us today. Oh, she is Akila. Akila, our accountant, just come forward. I wasn't seeing you. <laughs> and it's Akila who ensures that everything is on point with the numbers. Beautiful. And then last but not least, Adam Anderson. Who <laughs> Adam, you know, and he's going to say a few words, but Adam has been an inspiration to me. I, I don't know the age is Estasio, you don't know how you, how you get this, this guy to, to, to you know, just be there and just be in this thing. But somehow I managed to encourage him to forget about the US and where he come from and set up shop here. So Adam has been with us for two years. He worked shoulder to shoulder with us and he's here for the long haul, he's here to stay. Adam Anderson. Adam? Adam, Adam, come on, come on. <laughs> Sorry. It's been about five years since I think I saw a tear, so. But thank you, thank you. I'm sorry. In every sense of the word, this has been a labor of love. And um, everything that's been said and expressed here, I hope that everybody understands how deeply important this is for, for everybody here and for the country. And uh, we're, we're happy to contribute everything that we have and everything that we are for the success of the, the government, for the success of the Federation. And even though I may look a little different, <laughs> my, uh, my heart and my soul is rooted here. And, uh, Thank you so much. Um, Thank you so much. So uh, you know th that's that's our team of Open Interactive, and we're all local. We where we can, we don't export any talent. We we don't import talent. Or if we import it, it comes here, stay here, and contribute towards capacity building for our local economy. No money, none of your money, none of the government's money that's been spent to advance this project is going anywhere. It's staying right here in St. Kitts Nevis. And that's important to know, right? So there you have it, Open Interactive. We're also building the Open Creative Campus. I want to just say a few words about that. It's just uh, next door. 
And I also want to thank Mr. Ernest Amri, who is in the building, for allowing us to use his space and converting it how we want to create a transformational space where young men and women, the youngsters from the college, can come forward and you know, understand what it is to embrace technology and you know, entrepreneurship, elevate their skills and ideas, think out of the box. That space is going to be a transformational space. I won't go much deeper with it, but stay tuned. This public-private partnership is for real. Thank you.